Hello and uh, welcome everybody. So tomorrow is uh, Valentine's Day, uh, which means that today is the 13th of February, uh, Saturday. I just got back from work. Uh, I had my dinner. I had fried chicken. And uh, so this is a special Valentine's Day video. And the reason why I'm doing this is um, well, Valentine's Day is quite meaningful for me. Um, I had this relationship that has been going on for four years. And uh, Valentine's Day happens to be the, um, you know, the anniversary of this four-year relationship. Now, before I talk about that relationship, you know, I'm wearing red. And red is just as passionate as what you would expect for the love on Valentine's Day and uh, yeah I think that's a you know what I'm gonna be honest the reason why I'm wearing red today is not because of Valentine's Day and it's not even because of Chinese New Year in fact um, this shirt happened to be like the um, the only work appropriate shirt that was left this morning before I uh, went to work um, all the other shirts were like in the in the basket laundry basket then they were not dry yet because of the rain and so I ended up wearing a red shirt um, a very very uh, strong red but yeah a red shirt still um, so yeah all this talk about this red shirt representing the passion of Valentine's Day is all just improv so <clears throat> anyway about Valentine's Day and it's meaning well i have this four year relationship and uh yeah tomorrow will be the uh four year anniversary of my um you know my employment in my company so yeah that's 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 nice right um i hope it's not too anticlimactic for you guys so yeah um great reveal yeah? <laughs> uh, i'm not sure what i will do to celebrate I'm probably gonna be staying at home, you know, do some grocery shopping because it's Sunday tomorrow. But anyway, for Valentine's Day, um, not exactly for that particular day, but I'm thinking about, you know, um, reading something. I'm thinking about reading something that is romantic or something that revolves around uh, love and feelings, you know just because um, we are all in the mood for that and uh, I have a few books here I just kind of want to talk about um, you know books that I have not read and um, one of them I actually have read but only partially and maybe I'll read one of these books um, for Valentine's Day now it does not make sense for me to finish all of those books in Valentine's Day so I'm probably gonna spend like what two weeks or one month finishing one of these books so uh, but in any case the books cho the book chosen is going to be my Valentine's Day read so I have five books here the first one that I'm thinking about reading is by Patricia Highsmith this one is called Carol um, originally uh, the title original was um, The Price of Salt which is pretty awesome title if you ask me. Carol is a little bit too vanilla but in any case um, I think this one is pretty interesting because I'm not sure if it's romantic but it does have uh, this this woman who likes another woman. Honestly I'm not sure. If only I have given enough effort in reading the blurb then I would probably know what this book is about. There's a movie for this. I've not watched that obviously. But uh, yeah, this is kind of like a um, gay novel of sorts, I think, which kind of makes it um, something that I'm interested in reading. Uh, yeah, so this is one of the contender for my Valentine's Day read. My second one, I have this very old copy. It's by Han Suin, and it's called A Many Splendor Thing. Now this title is just so amazing. I mean, you hear that and the instant response would be, you gotta buy it if you don't have it yet. Or, you know, you gotta read it if you already have it. 
then obviously this one has been like staying on my shelf for I think one month. I bought it about one month ago, so it's not too long. I feel like I want to read this. Um, there's a subtitle here that says, The world famous story of a unique, precious, and tragic love affair. So I think this is pretty obvious that it's going to be a love story. Uh, one that is unique, precious, and tragic. I would love to read some unique, precious, and tragic love stories. So this is the second book. Now the third book is pretty on the nose when it comes to the title. I want to read something that revolves around love and... Oh, never mind that. Um, yeah, um, and this one, the title is just pretty straight to the point. It's called Love by Hanna Urstavik. So this one was originally written in uh, Norwegian and it was uh, translated by Martin Aitken. I'm not sure what this book is about also. Maybe I can try reading the blurb for you guys. Um, Love is the story of a single mother and her son who have just moved to a remote small town in the north of Norway. The mother caught up in her own concerns has forgotten that it's the day before her son's ninth birthday. Wrapped up in her own dream world, she ventures to the local library leaving him to wander the town, selling lottery tickets, and visiting the homes of strangers. Well, this is more about love between mother and son. It's not really like romantic kind of love. But still, you know, Valentine's Day read, a book with the title Love seems kind of appropriate, right? Next one is a romance. Now, this is the book that I did not buy for myself. In fact, my sister got this for me. Uh, I wouldn't have bought this book um, because I'm not sure if I have any interest in it. This is Mills and Boone. So it's called Having the Cowboy's Baby by Stella Bagwell. I read this book a while ago. I think I read like um, a third of it and I just kind of stopped because I wasn't really interested in the storyline. So basically I think this book, well, it seems like this book is the only thing that I can, you know, talk to you about what the storyline is. This book is about this, this, this woman, this southern belle, who falls in love with this cowboy. And apparently she has been taught that cowboys are dangerous. And so falling in love with a cowboy is a perilous thing. So, yeah, I guess... That's kind of like the, the conflict in the story, I think. And then a baby comes. I'm not sure where the baby factors in. Um, I'm not really someone who is well-versed in the genre of romance. But uh, something about romance that I just find a little bit um, not off my taste is, um, you know, I don't find babies romantic. Like, it, it's weird. I mean, I, I, I have nothing against babies, but babies in a romantic plot just sounds really weird. Babies are like something that happens after all of those romantic things, the passionate romantic things have happened, and babies are like kilometers away after that. So having babies occurring fairly early in that journey is like, it's weird, you know? Babies are sticky, clingy, and dirty. <laughs> uh, well, I, n normal lovers can be like that too, but yeah, babies are just not sexy, you know? So this is um, having the cowboy's baby bought by my sister for me. Um, I, I'm interested to see if I will be able to finish this book this year. And lastly, I have a book that I'm not really sure if it's related to love or something, but it's a pretty big book. Uh, this one is by Mo Yen, and it's called Big Breasts and Wide Hips. Now, I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure if it's really related to love or romantic love, but it just sounds like, you know, the title just sounds like something that you would read for Valentine's Day. Like, for example, if someone asked you, hey, what are you reading for Valentine's Day? And your answer will be like, um, well, I am reading this book called Big Breasts and Wide Hips. 
and the person would be like, wow, that is a great Valentine's Day read. I kind of have that scenario in my head with this book. Again, not sure what this book is about. I mean, the blurb is really long, uh, but it, it seems like it's about uh, uh, a kind of epic domestic fiction, which is great, which is great. So what do you think? What do you think of my um, potential, list of potential books that I can read for Valentine's Day? Do you think that uh, uh, these books are appropriate? Do you think that these books are, um, you know, suitable for Valentine's Day? Do you have any other, um, other ideas for uh, Valentine's Day? Let me know because, uh, yeah, I am in the mood to read some lovely, lovely romantic stuff for Valentine's Day. Can't say if any of some of these books are romantic, but I, I guess they're good enough. Um, I don't want to kind of go through my TBR just to find that romantic book. It's I prefer to just pick one book at random and then, yeah, call it a day. So yeah, these are my five books, random choices for Valentine's Day. And with that, I'm going to end this video. So until then, I'll see you in a different video. Um, take care. Thanks for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. And bye-bye.